Here we go, here it comes. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been Here in beautiful Yamanashi Prefecture, Japan. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you to see the Maglev Exhibition Hall. Basically, this is gonna be the fastest train in the world. It's gonna go 500 kilometers per hour, double the speed of the bullet train. It's basically gonna connect Tokyo and Osaka in 67 minutes. And then after this, what we're gonna do is we're going to Fujikyu Highland Amusement Park. Okay, and that's uh, they say there's a lot of scary rides there. <laughs> But I'm super excited for this guy. I rode the bullet train on this trip and I cannot wait for 2027. That's the year it's gonna open up. All right, let's go inside and watch the test run. Let's do it. It's the Maglev. Dude! Look at this thing. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness! Whoa. Yeah, I got it, but it was so fast. Oh my god. 500 kilometers per hour? That is double the speed of the bullet train. Whoa, this looks like a spaceship. <laughs> Oh wow, very nice. So it's a very thin train. It's gonna zip through Japan. Okay, the biggest difference between the Senkins and the bullet train and the Maglev is that the Maglev in economy, there's only two and two. So it's a two-two seater. The Shinkansen is a three-two seater. This thing is amazing. Because it, the, the, this train is kind of floating, so that's why they have to make it light. So that's why they only have a seat two and two. So about the weight is half of the Shinkansen. Wow. If you want a souvenir here of the Maglev, you can get a stamp. There's two stamps. You got one here and then you have one over by the souvenir shop. So put it right there, right? I did it bad. Let me get another one. <laughs> How do you do it? Like right there? Hold it whenever you go down. Right there? And hold and squeeze. Oh, I still did it bad. Oh. Come on. We're about to enter the Maglev Theater. Unfortunately, I can't film inside, but basically it's it's a theater that resembles or imitates basically how you feel on the Maglev and shakes and moves, right? It was so amazing. Basically, the, the video shows you like the advancements in technology with train systems here in Japan, starting from like the early 1900s all the way till now. And it shows you like it starts off that, you know, you see all the different trains and then eventually you get to the Maglev and it starts like in Tokyo it feels like you're in front of the train like looking straight ahead and then it starts ramping up ramping up the wheels come up at like 115 120 kilometers wheels come up and then it's elevated so it's basically floating like 10 centimeters above the tracks and it just zips through and it goes from Tokyo all the way to Osaka in 67 minutes so that's how fast it's gonna go 500 kilometers per hour 67 minutes to connect Tokyo and Osaka it's gonna be the fastest train in the world this is freaking amazing and right here we have uh, just a little map here of course, Santa Claus and Hedy's Village. What is this? Okay, so this is a model when the future station. So now there you see that new the linear car, the station over there. So I get to go on this little maglev car. Okay, so I'm gonna. Are you Shimicha? You are floating. Wow. Now you go to Shinagawa. You oh my God, it's amazing. I mean, you really feel it, like you're just floating on the tracks. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> like this is so cool. It just feels like you're just like gliding, you know? I'm gonna try to get the maglev to flow. So I'll have to get it to 150. Oh, 130, 141, there you go. Look at that. You got it to 500. Yes! <laughs> I did it! Oh my god, my arm broke. My arm. <laughs> yeah, I need a hot spring experience now. Once you're done visiting the exhibition center, you can walk over to the souvenir shop. Are you ready to buy some stuff? Everybody's gotta get something. I mean, look at this. We're here before everybody else. This doesn't even come out until 2027. So, primo primo stuff over here. I think this is what I'm taking home for my daughter. So she could see what she's gonna ride in eight years from now. The Megla, fastest train in the world, wow. So they have wine? Yeah, they have a wine because Yamanashi is very famous for the grape. Look, the chopsticks, Megla chopsticks. That's cool. They don't just have like Megla stuff, obviously here you can see some Megla souvenirs, some socks, um, you got a pillow here, you got chopsticks, 
I mean, really cool stuff, but they also have a lot of like products that they make here, that they produce here. You got like blueberry juice here. You have some grapes. Oh my God, look at this. This looks incredible. Whatever this is, it's like a, a yam or something. It looks like a yam. And uh, a lot of good stuff. Wine, lots of wine. And if you need to do a nicer shower, you can get the shampoo out in here and you can wash your hair. Shampoo? Uh, and you also Magla have shampoo. Yes, yes. That's amazing. I'm gonna get this for my daughter. Yeah, right here. one more just in case. All right, so I'll buy my daughter the miniature maglev, as you can see, 972 yen, so $9. I think it's worth it. I wanna bring it here in 2027. Can't wait. Let's go to the amusement park. most rotated ride in the world. We're here, ready for some rides. It was like better than a fast pass. Yeah, right? Press pass. All right, there we go, press pass. Woo, it's chilly. I'm like super bundled up. I'm freezing. Oh, here we go, let's do this. Wow, this is a huge theme park. Ooh, man, they have some scary rides though. <laughs> oh my God, I'm a little nervous. They're telling us we're gonna go on a really, really scary one. It's been a while since I've been in an amusement park. It's like a long time. Look at that, it's just, it's just huge. Right here we have a Ferris wheel as well. We got Mount Fuji right there. It's a Fujikyu Highland. So this is located also in Yamanashi Prefecture by the Mount Fuji. And after what you see is you see the beautiful Mount Fuji from here. And here they have a many, many the scary ride. Like most rotated ride, most like go about 90 degree go drop, so you will enjoy here. Ah, the scary one. Oh my god. So this is gonna be going 121 degree. So it's a most that have a most corner. Oh my god. Okay, so basically we have to take everything off, everything out of our pockets, and I have to tape the camera to my arm. My arm is like crazy. This is how it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my god. Alright guys, I can't do this. I'm taking this off right now. That was so intense. Oh my god. It was so fast. It wasn't scary, it was just really fast and it just went rotates. I mean, oh my god. The camera would have just blown away. I mean, thank God I made that last minute decision to take it off. Because there's no way. You have to hold on the whole time. Oh my God, that was crazy. So good. I want to do it again. Can we go back? <laughs> this, is, this is supposed to be the scary ride. It's is so it? great. This was fast and it was twisty and it was windy and it had a little bit of tease with, fat, with Mount Fuji at the top. But it was not scary. It was awesome. I don't know. I felt a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> you felt a little scared nah, next to it's me. It's more like I had butterflies. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so now you are riding Dodompa. And this is the most accelerated ride. So in the 1.38 second, you're gonna go up to 180 kilometers. Enjoy. Oh my god. We're about to ride the Dodompa, which goes 180 kilometers in 1.3 seconds. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm so ready. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Oh my god. That was so freaking scary. Oh, I don't feel good after that like, one. Scary. Like, I know, I know. It was actually scarier than the other one. It's kind of wild. It was really fast and it was pressing against my chest. So you're just crazy. Yeah. It's good. I mean, it's like, it's like, one, two, go. And it's like, shh. Oh my god. I'm like dizzy from that. Another one? We're going another one? The next one we're doing is this one, as you can see right here. And it does 14 different loops. Oh my god. I got dizzy just thinking about it. So I'm gonna go on the twisty ride, but I think that we're gonna have David go on the cloud ride oh, over wow. here. <laughs> I'm in a cloud. I think that might be more up your style right now. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. There's one a, more, one there's more a last, ride. There's a last ride, so I'm done. <laughs> As you saw, there's a 40 minute wait. 
Oh my god. And that's what we're doing right now. We're already getting the jitters because I'm uh, a little nervous about this. It actually like doesn't just go in circles, it like, rotates at the same time. So like, whoo! I haven't done this since I was a kid. For this ride, we have to take our shoes off. And the reason for that is because you're literally floating. You hang off the ride and they twirl you. This is gonna be the scariest ride in the entire park. Enjoy! Ready for this? Oh my gosh! Last ride. Oh my god! Wow, that ride was so amazing. It was super intense because you're floating, and at the same time when you're going down, you're twisting, and it's just like, I mean, just amazing, amazing. I think it was my favorite ride of all time. I have to say, favorite ride. I mean, it wasn't so scary. It was more just like exhilarating, and a lot of wind up there. So I put the, the hood on. There was no other way to do it, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're just gonna end here with the Ferris wheel. We're going up there so we can get epic views over Mount Fuji. Look at that, it's perfect time, twilight hour. Let's get on it. All right, let's do it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 11 minutes, huh? <laughs> epic views. I mean, just amazing. Wow, so peaceful out here too. You can see people ice skating. I'm not really a huge fan of ice skating. I like rollerblading. It's just stunning. I mean, we're seeing the sunset over Mount Fuji, or actually the sunset to the right and under Mount Fuji, because Mount Fuji is so massive. And to be at the top of a Ferris wheel, we're like in line with it. We don't even have to see all the rides around. It's amazing. That's what I like that one's awesome. Yeah. That was super nice. Yeah. Oh. Super nice. That was a quick 11 minute ride, no? <laughs> So what am I gonna try now? You're gonna try Shingenbochi. That's the most famous confection you're gonna have in this Yamanashi. So I'm trying a samurai mochi and it has a lot of powder. I'm gonna try it on the bus right now. So here we have it, the famous Shinge mochi, samurai mochi. Okay, and here we got it. Oh, nice. So it comes with two actually, as you can see. This is a little, I guess, what you use, it's like a little knife, right? Cool. Separate it. So it comes in this little container and it comes with like a sauce, right? Oh, okay. And then I do like this. Yeah. Oh, it's black sugar. So this is a different mochi. I've never seen a mochi like a rectangular mochi. It's a little different. Okay, okay. Let's pop it. Mm. <laughs> You're getting it everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bad idea doing this on the bus. Mm. <laughs> but it's so good. I love mochis. Oh, too much powder. <laughs> Why too much powder? Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this mega love experience plus the museum park. We had an amazing time. I can't wait for 2027 to come back to Japan and ride that for the first time. And then, yeah, I mean, if you're in the area, you should definitely check out this museum park. A lot of thrills there. I mean, we were screaming our asses off. <laughs> it, I got a little nervous. I got jittery the whole time. And then, yeah, trying this mochi was incredible, but I'm gonna eat the second one in my place because this is a mess here on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel adventure in Japan. Uh, uh.